first of all, I thank uh, SFL for giving me this opportunity. Uh, like you said, this is the first time I've been participating in the policy hackathon. It's very innovative the way it was done. And uh, from morning to the afternoon, we were hearing thoughts from different uh, teams. And each team had a different uh, perspective, the way they identified the problem, the way they are structuring their solution, how it will be implemented. I was surprised to see how practical a lot of their ideas were. Right, uh, My age is around 32. So far, I have not even attempted to create a policy. Right. Uh, if you ask how a certain policy should be, I will be giving one or two answers, but I will not be, I have not framed a comprehensive policy, right? So, uh, I think it's a great opportunity, it's a great exposure for the participants to take an attempt at that. I think at least some of you should represent uh, your industry or maybe you should be part of the lawmaking process and have your policies implemented actually in the future. And the other surprising part was, uh, to hear from a lot of participants, this is the first time they are hearing about Bitcoins, the first time they are hearing about cryptocurrencies, but they just had a day, but they were able to come up with a detailed analysis of what are the problems that are facing the uh, current government, uh, how it should be tackled. It's it's amazing how uh, uh, they could come up with solutions in a matter of 24 hours, and which is kind of even baffling for the experts, right? Government has been uh, taking two years to understand this and come up with the proper policy, they have been two committees that have formed, right? They, they take three months, six months, and here students attempted in 24 hours. So, uh, so it's a fantastic effort, right? Uh, so I was very happy to be part of this event uh, to understand all your ideas. Uh, and I also want to uh, say this, that this probably for some of you, this will be the first exposure to Bitcoin, but it does not be the last. It's a very good opportunity. I got a glimpse of how it is, how it works. And like we see the metaverse, uh, the crypto, they are taking the world, right? You see this appearing in the Financial Times, it, you see it appearing in Fortune, the Economist, right? People are talking about it in great lens. So uh, there's a great future, there's a few, huge potential. So this could be a start of a great journey. So make use of that. Yeah, so th these are my comments. Thank you. Now, um, just to once again, since uh, we have um, the, our distinguished people from the press here, uh, just to give an introduction as to the, the, what the event was and how the event went. Uh, Shraddha here, uh, one of our main uh, core co coordinators of the event, will be giving a small idea as to what the event was, the partners, and um, yes, please Shraddha. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah. yeah. So the event basically was organized by Students for Liberty. Students for Liberty seeks to create a global network, a global community of leaders who advance the ideas of liberty in all aspects of society. And we do this through activities such as student engagement, seeking to develop, empower and educate the next generation of leaders. Students for Liberty organized this policy thon over the past few months, starting the planning process started last year in the month of February and it was start, the execution started from the month of August itself. So what the policy thon was, was it was a uh, Liberty Innovation and Technology Policy Thon, LIT, LIT Policy Thon 2022. What we sought to do was to create a competition where the participants were students from universities or colleges who would come together to show us their policy designing skills. They would be given a problem and they had to analyze the problem and come up with a potential soli uh, policy solution that could be implemented in the society. They had to bring a viable policy solution. And for this, we, we brought in burning areas of technology, such as areas of cryptocurrency, areas of financial technology, areas of peace and security. We had drone security and we had sustainable technology of energy efficiency. So these were uh, some of the uh, core themes that we touched during the entire event. So the Liberty Innovation Technology Policy Thorn, we started it under the bigger ambit of the Tech Liberty Campaign of Students for Liberty. And we partnered with two other organizations as knowledge partners during the event. The first one was CCS, the Center for Civil Society. It's a think tank that analyzes policies from a consumer angle. So how a policy that is implemented by the government impacts a consumer at the lowest level in the society. And the second organization that we partnered was Student Energy. It's a Canada-based nonprofit that works to uh, enhance knowledge of students in the areas of energy poverty. Because in developing economies, the concept of energy poverty and energy efficiency is not very well developed or is not as popular as it should be. 
because there's a lot of potential in countries like India in developing economies across the globe to work in the areas of energy policy. So we'd also like to thank Atlas Network for the continuous support that they've given us to execute this entire event beautifully. So with that, I would like to tell you that any one of you who's interested to work with Students for Liberty to learn more about the topic can go to the website studentsforliberty.org and we have a local coordinator program that will start, start its induction from May 1st and you can join the program and you can learn more about the ideas of liberty and the ideas of freedom. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I think uh, this event were, was very uh, useful from the perspective that students of very diverse background came together to analyze policy related issues. So it is not only students with the background in law, but also students with background in technology, humanities. So it brings a lot of perspective on table, right, and uh, promotes a very healthy discussion amongst different perspectives on a, on a particular issue. So I think that's a very good uh, precedent uh, to look at and that is also one of the ways in which government usually would form a policy. It would invite people from different backgrounds, different perspectives and make a policy in a manner which is uh, representing all the different uh, stakeholders. So it was good to see a similar replication in the process that was followed at the competition and uh, I think a lot of students have uh, you know a very in-depth knowledge of the subject despite the short time that they had and a lot of potential so I just wish everyone all the best. So uh, students for liberty organization on the event organization in Nanga. So uh, organization uh, concept of Dina or a team or policy create for if the government is regulating the cryptocurrency in India, how do you regulate it? What are the stakeholders? What are the problems? How do you regulate the government? How do you regulate it? 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 So, if you look at the narrative, Bitcoin and Cryptocurrency is the first time. But in 24 hours, there is a problem with the problem. How can you solve it? You can present it as a full-fledged alarm. So, if you look at this, the main issue is that there are no lawyers. There are no policy making. This is the first time. There are engineers, economy, lawyers. So, over team, over with us. And all of them are valued. In our issue, even all of them are the first time to talk about Bitcoin. But there is a lot of potential in the future. They are doing the same thing and they are doing the same thing. Which I found really interesting. So, that's it. Thank you sir. See, if you have a technology, you can see that the first technology is the first step of the regulations. We have to do a lot of things in the regulations. If you look at the internet, the internet is coming in the 90s, what do you do with the data privacy, what do you do with the e-commerce, what do you do with the e-commerce, what do you do with the e-commerce. So, we have to do a new technology, we have to do a new technology. Okay, you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor. Okay, you can try the cricket in the 6th place, you can tell the doctor that 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 you can tell. So, if you have freedom, you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell. Okay, if you have a lot of strict time, you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell. Okay, so if you try the doctor that you can tell the doctor that you can tell the doctor, आधे कपड़ों वंदे आधा वंदे नम्बर वंदे तो पड़ना हो इपड़ी ना वंदे ओवर इंडस्ट्री में ग्रोवा आगे ओके इप्पी ये मामा वंदे ओरवल आपने नर्दर मो इप्पी नर्दर मो इन सोचें ना नरेया कटे पड़े गले विदित चो ना फॉर एग्जांपल कोयन देंगे वंदे इंटरनेट ले तपानों शेंग करते कराएंगे अर्चन Okay, now Metaverse, NFT, Bitcoin, this is a new technology and internet is a new product. Okay, if you have investments, you can invest in the same way, you can invest in the same way, you can invest in the same way, but there is an underlying technology, there is a reason. If we go to Deepa, we can see how the internet is centralized, we can go to Facebook or Google. 
இதை வந்து எப்படி நம்ம வந்து பரவலாக்குறது ஒருத்தர் கிட்ட இருக்க கண்ட்ரோல பிரிச்சு எப்படி நம்ம பல பேருக்கு கொடுக்கறது இதுதான் வந்து அதை மிடில் மேனை எடுத்துட்டு நேரடியா வந்து ரெண்டு பேர் எப்படி வந்து பரிமாற்றம் செய்யறது இது மாதிரியான விஷயங்களை தான் வந்து பிட்காயின் அண்ட் கிரிப்டோ கரன்சிஸ் அணுகிறாங்க ஸோ இதை பத்தின புரிதல் வந்து இந்த டீம்ஸ்க்கு இருந்துச்சு ஓகே அவங்க வந்து யாருமே இதை வந்து பேன் பண்ணணும்னு சொல்லல எப்படி வந்து ஒரு வளர்ந்த ஒரு டெக்னாலஜிக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி நம்மளுடைய லாவும் வந்து அவங்க சொன்ன முக்கியமான விஷயம் என்னன்னா இந்த லா வந்து இன்னைக்கு நம்ம பண்றது நாளைக்கு இப்படியே இருக்கணும் அவசியம் இல்லை டெக்னாலஜி சேஞ்ச் ஆக சேஞ்ச் ஆக லாவும் சேஞ்ச் ஆகிட்டே வரணும் நம்ம பத்து வருஷத்துக்கு ஐம்பது வருஷத்துக்கு நம்ம இப்பயே லா கிரியேட் பண்ணணும் அவசியம் இல்ல இப்போதைக்கு இது என்ன பிரச்சனைகள் இருக்கோ அதை சுத்தி நம்ம லா கிரியேட் பண்ணிட்டு போக போக பிரச்சனைகள் வர 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 அந்த லாவும் வந்து அதுக்கு ஏற்ற மாதிரி அப்டேட் ஆகணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு வியூ பாயிண்ட் வச்சாங்க ரொம்ப பிடிச்சிருந்தது மாட்டீங்க <laughs> 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 இருக்கிறது <laughs> கேள்விப்படுறோம் அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்ம இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் எடுத்து படிச்சு புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் அதுக்குள்ள நம்ம உள்ள நிறைய பொட்டன்சியல் புரியுது அதுக்கப்புறம் நம்ம அதை யூஸ் பண்ணிக்க முடியுது அது இப்ப சொல்லுவோம் இப்ப அது அந்த அவார்ட் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் செருமனி இருக்கு அப்ப உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் யாரு கண்டிப்பா can i say that in english yeah. Yeah. so these eight teams were selected from a big cohort of like 100 teams there were like more than 200 registrations and we we had a preliminary round that happened in february and from from that we selected the best eight teams the top eight teams uh, so there are 21 participants over here um, so this is not like a, a, a random number they are like the top people they the the people who have like proved their um, talent and um, uh, knowledge level in the technology uh, like not just but not not just cryptocurrency but also energy efficiency and other technology related matters yes. so basically tamil la solluna 100 per ta vandu vera vera thuraiyil la the energy efficiency the technology and mari over vaati vandu vera vera idhula vandu contest vechu adhula filter panni 8 teams ah therndu eduthu and 8 teams ni participate pannanga adha da avangala presentation oda quality um romba high ah irundhuchu thank you thank you positions won by the team intelligent differentia consisting of and so much was The second position goes to the team newbies consisting of Mr. Sahel Singh, Mr. Sanjay Paul and Ms. Amrothi
first part. The first prize goes to the team Rational Sophists, consisting of Mr. Gopal. <laughs> कई कई और I request the second and third position awardees to please come to the stage with their certificates and their mementos. Sir, sir, please come close. Please come close. Can we like you be selling the food? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a long main. I don't know. 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 Thank you so much, Diksha. 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 Thank you so much, Thank you so much, to all the rest of the participants who made it to the final round, we are not going to let you go empty handed. Each one of you will be given books, t shirts, and two pen drives engraved with Tech Liberty. And it requests you to stand with the ideas of liberty and freedom. So please come and collect them. The volunteers will guide you about that. Thank you so much.